In this video, we'll look at the structure of proteins and we'll start with the primary structure. The primary structure of a protein refers to the number and sequence of amino acids in the polypeptide chain. The bond responsible for the primary structure is the peptide bond. So here we have an example of a dipeptide formed from alanine and glycine and the bond responsible for joining the two amino acids is the peptide bond. So next we have the secondary structure of proteins. The secondary structure of a protein refers to the folding of the polypeptide chain as a result of hydrogen bonding. The two main types of structure are the alpha helix and the beta pleated sheet. On the left here we have the alpha helix structure and we have a hydrogen bond between this oxygen and this hydrogen atom. On the right we have the hydrogen bond in the beta pleated sheet between this hydrogen and this oxygen atom. So next we have the tertiary structure of proteins. The tertiary structure refers to the interactions between the R groups, which are known as side chains. The tertiary structure is the folding of the secondary structure to form a specific 3D shape. So here are some of the interactions that form the tertiary structure. We have hydrogen bonding, we have hydrophobic or van der Waals forces, we have a disulfide bridge between two atoms of sulfur, and we also have ionic bonding, and in addition, we have a peptide bond. And we'll look at these in more detail now. So here's a list of the interactions that form the tertiary structure. We have hydrophobic interactions, or van der Waals forces, between non-polar side chains. We have hydrogen bonding between polar side chains. Ionic bonding between chains that have opposite charges. Disulfide bridges between sulfur atoms in cysteine. These are covalent bonds and therefore the strongest type of interaction. And finally, we have peptide bonds between NH2 and COOH groups. And finally, we have the quaternary structure of proteins. So proteins such as collagen, which we have on the left here, and hemoglobin on the right, they're composed of more than one polypeptide chain. The interactions between the polypeptide chains give rise to the quaternary structures.